Hi, my name is Piyush Singh and I welcome you to this video on modes of metal transfer in electric arc welding. The arc welding processes can be classified into two types based on the electrode that is used in the process. Namely, consumable electrode welding and non-consumable electrode welding processes. Some of the common processes of the two types are mentioned here. In consumable electrode welding processes, the electrode gets melted and deposited to form the weld bead. This melting and transport of metal is accomplished by the arc. Thus, two main functions of the arc in consumable electrode arc welding are number 1. Supply of heat to melt the electrode and work materials and number 2 the transport of molten electrode material down to the weld pool transfer of metal droplets from the electrode to the weld pool happens under the influence of a number of forces the mode of transfer depends on the balance of these forces and also which force plays the most dominant role these forces are gravitational force aerodynamic or drag force, electromagnetic force, surface tension force, and vapor jet forces. The balance of these forces is given by the equation shown here. The operating conditions control these forces, the most important being the welding current. Other factors include arc voltage, wire diameter, shielding gases, density of droplets, surface tension, etc. The gravitational force is given by the equation shown here. Here, theta is the angle which the axis of the welding arc makes with the vertical. The gas flow or the atmosphere around and within the arc induces aerodynamic drag on the droplets given by this equation. This force is higher with higher droplet radius and gas velocity. It is well known that a current carrying conductor establishes a magnetic field and hence a force around the conductor. This force depends on the magnetic permittivity of the material, welding current and also entry and exit radius of the current path. This force is responsible for pinching of droplets from the electrode during free flight transfer. In free flight transfer, surface tension is the principal force that prevents droplet detachment and in dip or short circuit transfer it is the force that pulls the droplet into the weld pool. At high welding currents, significant vaporization at the surface of the molten droplet can occur in the arc root area. Thermal acceleration of the vapor particles into the arc plasma results in a force called vapor jet force. This force opposes the droplet transfer. This vapor jet force for a flat surface at a uniform temperature and composition is given by this equation. After discussing the forces involved in metal transfer dynamics, let us see the principal modes of metal transfer. So there are three main modes of metal transfer, free flight, dip or short circuit transfer and pulse spray transfer which is observed in a pulsating power source. The free flight transfer can again be classified into three types, namely Globular transfer, spray transfer, and combination of globular and spray transfer. This animation here shows globular transfer. The globular transfer mode uses gravity to transfer large globules of molten electrode. These globules are usually around three times the wire diameter. Due to the role played by gravity in this mode of transfer, its application is limited to flat and horizontal positions only.
Here are some characteristics of globular transfer. This mode of transfer does not give a very smooth, well bead appearance. Also, spatter is common and occasional short circuiting can occur due to the large globules. Here is an animation of short circuit transfer. Short circuit or dip transfer, commonly called short arc, is a mode of metal transfer with low heat input where transfer of metal from electrode to weld puddle occurs by a series of electric shorts. As the welding wire is fed, it makes physical contact with the base material and creates a short. As the short occurs, the voltage immediately drops to zero. The welding arc diminishes. This phenomenon occurs several times every second. Here we have some characteristics of short circuit transfer. The short circuit transfer can be used in all positions and is suitable for all thicknesses. The short circuit transfer method was developed in late 1950s for thin sheet steel and out of position welding. This transfer mode uses a constant voltage power source, low average currents and small diameter electrode. However, the main limitation of this mode of metal transfer is spatter. Spray transfer is characterized by spatter-free axial droplet transfer in an argon-rich shielding gas. Spray transfer is a high current density process for joining heavy sections in flat and horizontal positions. This mode of transfer is experienced with high weld current, small diameter and argon-rich shielding gas. During spray transfer, fine-sized droplets of electrode metal are transferred to the weld pool by strong electromagnetic forces. These pinching forces provide for spatter-free welds. Here are some characteristics of spray mode of transfer. This mode of transfer produces very less spatter. The arc once struck remains on throughout the weld duration. The droplet size is usually smaller than the wire diameter. However, this mode of transfer is limited to flat and horizontal positions only. In pulse spray mode of transfer, the power source supplies current changes magnitude from a low background current to a high value called the peak current. This allows the average current to be at a low value thus reducing the heat input during the weld. This allows the mode of transfer to be applied to all thicknesses of materials. Also, with this, advantages of spray transfer can be utilized in out-of-position welds. Pulse may not always be sinusoidal and can have different shapes like trapezoidal, square or rectangular as shown here. As the current crosses a certain value called transition current, the mode of transfer changes from globular to spray. As the current reaches peak current, a droplet is formed and pinched off by electromagnetic forces and then transported to the weld puddle. Here is an animation of pulse mode of metal transfer. When the current level is low, that is during the background time, the arc diminishes but as peak current is reached, the arc intensifies and a droplet is released into the arc. Here is a comparison of the basic characteristics of the different modes of transfer discussed till now. The spray transfer mode occurs at the highest current level while short circuit transfer occurs at the lowest current levels. Globular transfer occurs at an intermediate current range. So the peak current is high in pulse transfer, the average current is quite low. The most dominant force in spray and pulse spray mode of transfer is the electromagnetic force which pinches off the tiny droplets from the electrode. In case of globular transfer it is a gravitational force while in short circuit transfer it is a surface tension which detaches the droplet from the wire into the weld puddle. If we look at the advantages, spray transfer gives the highest deposition rate with good penetration and bead appearance due to absence of spatter. Short circuit and pulse spray can be used for out of position welds and also for welding thinner materials. 
Short circuit transfer takes place at low current values and as a result there is less heat input during the weld. Spray and globular transfer cannot be used to weld thin materials. Also these are limited to only flat and horizontal positions. Short circuit transfer sometimes result in cold lap lack of fusion defects. High spectra is a common issue for both globular and short circuit transfer. Thank you for watching. Please leave your feedback in the comments below. Thank you.